This is a quick video in response to a question posted on comments by Ecamm2009 uh, regarding uh, an older video of mine using send notify to make pop-up messages. So uh, for example, we can do, uh, I'm sorry, not send notify, notify send. Um, and we'll do test and hit enter and you'll see we got a little pop-up message right here that says test. Um, and he wants to know that how we can get a GUI that when you press a button in the GUI, it causes a pop-up message like that. So we're going to use Zenity, which I've talked about a number of times in the past. It's very easy to use dialog tool. Um, and we're going to use something such as Zenity um, dash dash question dash dash text. And we'll put in what we want our text to say and we'll say, would you like a pop-up? And we'll hit enter and that gives us this little GUI here. We can press OK or cancel. To get output from that though, we have to run under the command and we'll say echo uh, dollar sign question mark and that will give us a one or a zero. It should give us a zero if we press OK or a one if we hit cancel. So now we can put that into an if then statement. So if the response is zero, which is okay, we're going to get a pop-up message. So let's actually write out a script. I'm gonna go into my text editor here and I am going to uh, create a new text. I'm gonna call it um, GUI popup.sh. And we're going to start off with our bin bash here. So we are telling our, our computer that it's a bash script. And we'll just start off with, as we said earlier, Zenity dash dash question, telling it that it's a question type dialogue because there's different types of dialogue boxes. And then we'll say dash dash text and put in our text, which is would you like a pop-up? And then we'll start our if then statement. We'll say if our variable, which is our output from Zenity, equals zero, then we're going to display a, notify, a message, uh, <clears throat> notify dash send, and we'll say you picked yes and then we'll close our if then statement with fi we'll save that and we'll make it executable by using change mod plus x and the name of our script and then we'll do dot forward slash and the name of our script we'll hit enter we get our GUI would you like a pop-up if we hit cancel nothing happens if we hit OK we get a little pop-up message up in the corner here saying you picked yes. So once again, if we run that script again and I press OK, we well, the message was already still there. We can hit cancel and nothing will happen. I'll give it a second for that display message to go away. I think the default is five seconds. It should be. There we go. Run it again. I'll press OK and it's back there again. I press OK and it stays up there. So that is how you can uh, create a GUI that will generate a pop-up message uh, if you choose so with the buttons in the dialog. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this. And I hope you're having a great day.